There are a ton of different ways to produce a podcast. Creating a show by yourself can be incredibly rewarding, but working with others is great too, and sometimes it's essential. But as you expand the cast of your podcast, you might not want everyone to have the same login information. For example, maybe you don't want somebody who's just helping out to have the ability to delete the account or redirect the entire RSS feed. This is why Buzzsprout has unlimited team members and user roles for every account. Adding team members lets you delegate responsibility and share the behind the scenes workload of your show. So let's walk through everything you need to know about adding team members to your podcast in Buzzsprout. First off, there are three types of team members you can add, owner, admin, and editor. Each role has unique permissions and limitations. Owners have full account control, including billing and user management. Admins have access to episode management and team member adjustments, but they are not able to adjust billing or delete an account. And the editor role is more focused on content creation, like publishing and embedding episodes with restricted access to deletion and team management. It's important to remember though that roles can be changed after a user has been added as a team member, so don't worry if things change over time, like if a podcast's original creator steps down or shifts roles, they can transition the account to a new owner. But in that case, it's also important to note if you're switching owners, you might also need to switch the credit card billing information before transferring account ownership. And there are a lot of different ways you can use these different roles. For example, a podcast with multiple hosts could use admin roles so that each host can upload and manage their own episodes. So now that we've covered the different roles that are available, let's dive in into how you can add new team members. I'll be working on the desktop Buzzsprout interface, but you can also make these same adjustments in the Buzzsprout app too, which is absolutely awesome. So here I'm logged into my Buzzsprout account and I personally have several different shows hosted with Buzzsprout. My main podcast, The Enthusiasm Project, is just me. It's me doing everything by myself. But my wife Heather and I also host a show together called The Couples Table, and now I want to add her as a team member to that show. To do this, all I need to do is click on the podcast, go up to the upper right corner, click on settings, and then select team members. From here, I can select the add a team member button, and then all I need to do from there is enter her name and email, and then here I can select the role again with reminders of what each role can do. In this case, I wanna make Heather an admin, which means she'll be able to do everything except delete the podcast, change billing information, or redirect the RSS feed. Those are all things in this case I promise she has no interest in doing. So then I click add team member, and we're all done. And if I ever need to make changes now that I've added her, I can click on these three dots, I can edit, remove, or even transfer ownership. And that is how simple it is to add team members to your podcast. But I did mention a minute ago that I have multiple podcasts. So it's important to note that you can manage multiple podcasts under one Buzzsprout account. So for example, in this case, I click on my podcast and I have the four podcasts that I work on right here. Even though I added Heather, as an admin on the couples table, if I go back to the enthusiasm project and I click on settings and I click on team members, it's just me. Because again, this is just my personal podcast. There's another podcast that I host with my friend Peter. And if I go here and I click on settings and team members, you can see that Peter and I are both added, but Heather's not there. That only affects the couples table and not the other shows. And just to confirm that everything is working as it should, if I go back to the couples table, click on team members, you can see it's Heather and I. So this is great for producers managing multiple shows because it's easy to create a dedicated team for each show. And it's also really good for other situations. Like for example, if you want to add a coworker to a podcast that you produce for work, but you don't want to add them to a show that you do on your personal time. Just remember though, if you do want somebody to be on more than one of your podcasts, you just need to add them to each show separately. And don't forget that you can add unlimited users to any podcast on Buzzsprout. So the flexibility of multiple user roles really does help make producing your podcast simpler and easier for everybody involved. And it can also help sustain a show as hosts, producers, and creators join, leave, or change roles. Of course, every podcast is a little different, so if you've got any questions about working with team member roles in Buzzsprout, drop them in the comments to this video. And if you wanna learn more about podcasting with Buzzsprout, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and happy podcasting.